Hey there guys, and welcome to this Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. I'm your host, Kingdom Freak, and on the previous episode, well, we actually had a beach episode that we ha that had happened, and uh, from what I'm aware of, we did a couple of other social social links. Um, yeah, and that's it. We had a very big mishap with everyone. Um, is there anything that I need to do? I don't think I need to do anything at the moment. So I'm just going to do something else. By the way, if you are in... If... I am actually going to be starting to live stream once this game finishes. Um, that's actually going to be something that everybody can enjoy when I come and start streaming. Probably the first game that I'm going to play is uh, is actually going to be something completely different from this game. Uh, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Yeah, and that'll be coming out in like September, so I need to get this game done quickly. Let's go to the Central Shopping District this time. Mm, let's go in here. Let's just see if uh, Marie is here. Oh, yep, she's here. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Um, what should I do? What should I do? I'm going to go into... Let's raise some characteristics. Why not? Courage, diligence. Yeah, I probably need more. Come again next time! <laughs> At least it's not like hyper peaking my audio. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were doing homework with Nanako. I'm gonna have to put that in the title of the video. Um. No, I'm going to do the homework because that's something I don't know if I need to do it or not, but at the same time, might as well. I know that I'm already at max um, knowledge, so don't flame me in the comment section. I just don't, I haven't actually ever played this game before. That's the only reason why I'm actually doing it in case something bad happens. <laughs> oh my god. Platypuses are the weirdest animal. Being a mammal with a duck beak is not right. Um...
From what I'm aware, no, actually, it would probably be the females, if anything, but I'm going to go both. I don't know. Oh. It's wrong. <laughs> that was two days ago. It stopped raining by then. <laughs> You're saying it out loud. Oh, that's funny. Do 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 Fireworks Festival episode. Title of the episode. Big bro, are you there? I'm gonna play at Mana Chan's house. I'll buy some trash bags on the way back. Um, what? You wonder if Nanako knows about the Fireworks Festival. Tell Nanako you're going to be at the Fireworks Festival with your friends. We'll be going to the fireworks show once he comes home. Oh, that's cool. It's at night, so I have to go with Dad, but he said he'll try and come home for it. <laughs> Hope to see you there. Uh huh. I'll go with Dad, so we'll see you there. Decided to leave Nanako to Dojima and go to the fireworks festival with your friends. Ooh, the crowd's pretty thin here. The riverbanks were packed. I'm surprised you found a quiet spot like this. Oh no, I knew about it. I pass by the mountainside a lot. Customers ask me about it too. I wonder if Nanako chan will make it. I called and told her where we'd be before I left. Okay. Hey, where's Teddy? Not only was he hitting on girls non-stop, he accidentally put the moves on Hanako and she dragged him away. <laughs> he ducked into his bear skin right away and acted like a bear, but he still got dragged off without a word. Whoa! Can we just leave him like that? Yes. Sure we can. His karma caught up to him. Aren't you being a little cold to Teddy today, Yosuke-senpai? When I think back to what he did this morning, no, I really don't. Truth be told... I wish I could send two or three more Hanukos at him. Dude, that would kill him. What happened anyway? I don't even want to remember it. He dug up some private stuff from my room and brought it to the Hanamura family breakfast. He was all like, Yosuke, what's this magazine about? <laughs> Can you imagine the humiliation I went through because of him? It's your fault for having that stuff. I mean, he ha she does have a point. It's not like I ever thought anyone would wave it around in front of my parents. <laughs> now he makes a fair point. Is this really what you want to be talking about with girls around? Now she has a point. 
Huh? Is he not talking about his secret savings? Oh my god, you <laughs> said you could go. Secret savings for a guy. Right. Let's just leave him be. Teddy? Oh. What a tragedy. My lovely fur is completely ruined. That's... Okay, that's worse than I was expecting. Anyway, people are going to stare at you like that. Hurry and take it off. But I'm like a newborn child inside. Just like your magazine from this morning, Yosuke. Yeah, don't come out. Quit reopening this morning's wounds. There they are. Hey, Nanako-chan! Looks like Kojima-san made it in time. Yeah, Dad came home early. We've been waiting for you. Sorry if I made you nervous. I didn't quite finish my paperwork, but I figured a dachi could handle the rest. I mean... Hey there, little lady. Wanna launch some fireworks of love? Of course, he comes out with that. How do you do that? Well... Cut it out, Teddy! Do you want Tojima-san to haul you in? Things are heating up down there. Does that mean it'll be starting soon? Really? That's awesome. Pretty. Wow. Tedmaya. No, no, no. Don't listen to him. <laughs> You enjoy the fireworks festival. That concludes our program for the summer fireworks festival. Thank you for coming, and all of us here in Inaba hope to see you again next year as well. Man, that was amazing! Totally worth coming out here for. Because you got to stuff your face, right? So what? You were all munching on snacks too! An extra large steak bowl doesn't qualify as a snack. <laughs> Did you have fun, Nanako-chan? Mm -hmm. I'm sleepy. Uh -uh. Uh, better get you home. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's about time for you to be home in bed. I'll take Nanako back. Make sure you guys don't stay out too late, huh? Oh, we promise to stay stay out until 5 a.m. in the morning. Bye bye, Nana Chan. Bye bye. Fireworks were great, but I don't know. It just feels like summer's just about over. Why'd you have to bring that up? I'm all right with that. When I'm working, I have to wear fall clothes during the summer so I don't get a sense of the seasons changing. But this year, I went to the beach and saw some fireworks. I even got to wear a yukata out to the summer festival. The festival, huh? Well, thanks to a certain someone, I don't have anything but bitter memories of that. Really? That someone is you. Well, I had fun. Oh yeah, you were good at that candy cutting. Wait, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I was expecting something more, more bittersweet and stuff. You could have always asked Hanako-san. Right? It's easier with guys. You take the long view too much when it comes to this stuff. Are you going to throw away the only summer you'll ever get as a second year just because it's a little less annoying? Hey, that's mean. You make it sound like we're annoying. Annoying? Am I really? Oh, 
sheesh. Yukiko's freakout switch just kicked in. It's your fault for being so insensitive, Yosuke. Huh, yeah. This kind of thing really doesn't come up with guys. <sighs> Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Like you're any different. Oh, yeah. Should we have asked that kid to come with us today? What kid are you talking about? What kid? Uh, well... Oh! Okay, okay. Oh, him. Oh. Oh, him. Yeah, I guess so. When you think about it, we were working on the same case in a way. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we might not ever see him again. I'd hate to leave it with him like that. I said some harsh things. You know, I remember him saying something that sounded pretty sad. Then again, I doubt he's the type who'd accept even if we had invited him out to see the fireworks. I wonder if he's not here anymore. He seemed to be busy, so maybe he's already working on another case in some faraway town. Huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a downer. There's no point in wondering what might have been. He was a pretty good-looking guy, too. He might have been a roadblock in... Uh, other ways. Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? <laughs> Shut up, you don't have to say it twice. You ate dinner, a light dinner with the others, then headed home. Then snore throughout the night. Oh, you finally came down. Um, I got a call from Dad. He said someone gave him a watermelon. <laughs> what? It's too big for us to eat, so he said you should call your friends over. Do you think Teddy and your other friends can come? Nanako seems to want to come. Everyone to come. Yeah, sure. Why not? Watermelon? Oh, definitely. I haven't had any yet this year. I'm gonna call up the others, so you better not smack it open before we get there. We won't. Luckily, everybody was able to come over. Nanako may be a factor in that decision as well. Um, Dad got a watermelon from someone, so he said we should call everyone. Man, a watermelon. Because of all the stuff that's gone down this summer, I completely missed out. So, where is it? The fridge? Gee, Kanji, they invited us over. At least show some manners. We gotta smack it open first. Huh? Are we seriously going to do that? We can't eat it if it gets all crushed. But, but doesn't it sound like fun? I want to do it too. Oh, God. Don't you going to swing at it with everything I've got. Oh, please don't. Not across the carpet. The splattering fruit juice. Bursts of joy. One night of love. The bitter sweetness of those days is the essence of youth. Mm, that makes no sense at all. No. And dude, will you cut out those commercial lines of yours? That's the essence of youth. I'm home. Whoa, that's a lot of shoes. How many people are here? Two, four, six, eight. Say what? Ah, well, you see. Uh oh. The waterman was already cut and shared with the neighbors. Come on, Nanako. Don't pout. Everyone came here to hang out, right? I'm really sorry. It never occurred to me you'd want to do that. Hey, Nanako chan, let's do it again sometime. Next time, we'll do it right at the beach. Seconded. Whoa, does that mean we get another chance to see you in bathing suits? Oh, but there probably aren't enough days left. We'll have to do it next year. Next year? Will you play with me next year too? Of course we will. 
You betcha. You betcha. Did you hear that, Nanako? Yep. Thank you. Fun time slowly passes by. Eventually, everyone went home. Nanako have. Nanako must have gotten tired too. She already seems to be asleep in a room. Thanks for everything today. It's been a while since I last saw Nanako in high spirits like that. <laughs> the case is finally solved. Now for all the. <laughs> ah, never mind. Save it for some other time. You know? You really made some great friends. <laughs>